the main part of our dinner. And I know this looks like weird, but it is delicious. So this is my emoji, delicious. And I'm gonna show you really quickly a healthy meatloaf hack. So I don't know about you guys, but um, hey, happy Tuesday. I, meatloaf is a comfort food for me. Like it reminds me of my mom making meatloaf. She made, I think like ham loaves and my grandma. And I know for a lot of, of people, meatloaf is a comfort food, but here's the problem. Um, meatloaf usually contains a lot of bread crumbs and it's super high in starch. Um, yay, you're making meatloaf tonight too. Awesome. So, um, you're going to hear my kiddos in the background. They're they're playing like crazy helping me in the kitchen. So here's my healthy meatloaf hack, and it's using oats, which I would bet you already have in your pantry. I actually keep this big giant jar of steel cut oats, sometimes we'll fill it with oat bran, um, out on the counter because I use it so often. Yay, Lindsay! Hey, everybody follow Lindsay. She's um, just commented down there, Lindsay, throw up some more emojis. She's a Beyond Fit trainer, so you'll definitely want to follow her. So instead of breadcrumbs, seriously, you can use oatmeal. Now, I like to blend mine up a little bit. Um, hey, yay, that's what you use too. Awesome. It helps hold it together. So the trick to get your meatloaf, healthy meatloaf, you could use a lean cut of beef. Um, I actually am using turkey um, for ours today, but I use two eggs and oats. Now I ground up my oats and this is what I wanted to show you in a magic bullet. Yes, exactly. So you ground them up. Oh, you put them in your kid's pancakes. Awesome. Um, that's a great idea. So I ground them up in the magic bullet and then I mix everything together. So I already did my big ones, um, but I used this big bowl and I did um, six ounces of ground turkey. I'll actually post the recipe on the Facebook page. Um, so you won't have to worry about writing anything down, but I threw, I threw everything, our veggies, our spinach, we hide spinach, we hide peppers, we hide onions, we had everything in here. Um, and then the oats, this is the healthy hack. The oats plus the eggs helps to hold everything together. So they look crazy, but I'm telling you what, they're delicious. I'll try to get Patrick's reaction um, on Snapchat or uh, whatever tonight if I can for dinner. But that's the hack. And then here, how cute is this? For the boys, I'm making little heart ones. And here's another thing. If you want to make an individual meatloaf, like you can kind of make them a little bit different because they will not like some of the peppers in our meatloaf. So they're just a touch pickier. So I'm going to make them individually. And here's what I did. This is so easy. Um, I chopped everything up with my magic bullet. So there's, it looks crazy, but um, there's, you can use flax as um, an egg substitute. You'll have to Google like the ratios, but yeah, you can use flax. Yeah, or the chia seeds, yeah. Um, so I did the turkey and you can see the ground up oats. I left out the peppers, but I did do some onions and spinach. And then I'm gonna pop this on the magic bullet. So let's mash that up for a second here. Um, and then I'll put them in the pan and it's super easy. Actually, I'll wait because I don't want it to be too loud for you. And then I'll just put them in the pan. Yeah, so Sarah, you could do this for your husband and hide some veggies in it. Um, we're gonna serve ours with probably some steamed broccoli. Look at Warren. Oh my gosh, she just made a huge mess in the pantry. What are you doing? <laughs> I turned my back for two seconds. Yeah, and his clothes are off because of the mess he made at lunch. And oh my gosh, you guys, total mess. Okay, so I'm gonna go, um, yeah, I used ground turkey as the meat, but you could use lean beef or whatever you have. Um, a food processor would work great. So if you're just jumping on, here's the hack. Instead of breadcrumbs, which are so high in starch, hey, Ethan, um, instead of breadcrumbs or, you know, really high, high starch stuff, use oatmeal. It has a lot of fiber. It's going to keep you fuller longer. And the oatmeal with the egg combination is going to hold everything together. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to go to the Facebook page. So search Beyond Fit Mom on Facebook and I'll post this recipe. Yeah, you can hide tons of veggies in here. Your husbands and your kids will never know. I'm serious. Oh, Jess, you made them this Sunday. Awesome. Yeah, even my dad, who's not a healthy eater at all, even my dad likes this recipe. So I'll post the recipe on the Facebook page. Go to Beyond Fit Mom on Facebook. And while you're there, if you miss the replay from
from yesterday periscope was acting really weird and like it um cut off most of my replay talking about the two things you need to do to get your abs to show so i i got a video with those tips so that's on the facebook page as well beyond fit mom facebook page okay good i hope that helps so i'm gonna post this recipe here's everything you need i bet you have everything in your pantry already i'm gonna blend this up for my boys throw it in here and then um dinner will be ready to bake tonight i love you guys i hope you're having a great day